aspect of minimal and equal for transcendent theories. Ah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to come to the very beautiful city, Natal, and uh, uh, opportunity to have uh, a seminar in front of the experts of the Suzy Gay series. And today I'd like to talk about my recent work with uh, Tomoki Nosaka, who is a postdoc in Kias. And yeah, so uh, if you have any question, please interrupt anytime. Yeah. So today's talk is about 3D super conformal phase theories. And this class of QFT is very rich. Uh, I have, even though I have no uh, ability to explain all the structure of the, this CFT, I just, uh, just sketch of the, some aspects of the, this 3D SCFT in, to just in order to motivate um, my works. So, uh, this CFT is known as some low energy effective field theory of M2 brains. Uh, for example, some maximum supersymmetric theories uh, was constructed by using some three brackets in 2006 or something. And, and after this buckle BLZ model, the, uh, it was constructed to uh, ec uh, the express uh, uh, a many number of M2 brands which enjoy the ADS4 dual, uh, known as the uh, ABJ model. Also, this system has some several dualities, such as mirror symmetries, or cyborg like dualities, or some bosonization duality, blah, blah, blah. And also, there are many aspects, global symmetry enhancements, or some nodes, or wall crossing. So anyway, the, the, this rich structure is uh, actually caused by, uh, uh, it is natural to expect that this structure is caused by some non partitive operators, which, is, which could be monopole operators. And, uh, and this uh, class of CFT was uh, precisely studied in the N4 supersymmetric case. And this study was uh, done by Guyot Witten in 2008 after the BLZ model. And this classification is done by as uh, BPS monopole operators, and there, there are three uh, some classification. One is some s the, sp the scaling damage of all monopole operators is greater than half. This system is called good. Uh, Suppose there exist monopole operators whose dimension is half, then this uh, system is called ugly. And Suppose there exists the uh, dimension of monopole operator is less than half, then system is called bad. And actually, this classification can be also done by using the three sphere partition function. Uh, this was pointed out by Kapustin Vetliakov by using the, some supersymmetry localization. And this classification A is equivalent to the but function is absolutely convergent. And the B is a marginal divergent case of this part function. And C is equivalent to the absolutely divergent. And uh, there is an example, N4, UNC, and with NF SQCD case, the, this 2NC is equal to or less than NF, then several is good, and 2NC minus one equal to NF case, this is theory is ugly. And then less than two NC minus two, then theory is bad. So the, 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 it is natural to ask, this classification works including chan simon interaction, right? And this question is very simple, but uh, actually not so straightforward, which is, is explained in the rest of this talk. So, okay, so now let me move on to the uh, explain to minimal N4 chance and matter theories. Uh, so, any questions so far? Yeah, please. Uh, this one?
here. Uh, this NF is now left hand side, so I think it could be. I think it could be okay, right? Uh, uh, NF. I think it, it could be okay. No? Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so let me move on to the this explain to minimal and it's four chance time theories. So the the one de definition is as follows. One is uh, defined by linear equivalence theory. Uh, this is given by this. This one uh, n equals four vector multiplet, and another uh, vector multiplet, and these two are interacting by this Feynman and the hyper multiplet. One may think that the w one can remove uh, this one with keeping the n equals four, but it turns out it it cannot be removed. If you remove this one, then the supersymmetry reduces to the n equals three. And this this system can be also defined by the some uh, type to be brain configurations uh, like this, and these strings uh, correspond to this multiplet. This st string uh, correspond to this, and this correspond to this by fundamental hyper multiplet. Okay, and one can define also by uh, using the some action. Uh, the one can write down the explicit action for this model, like this, and the potential given like this. And the system has uh, global symmetry as follows. Our symmetry is SO4, and this SU2 acts on uh, independently for the this scalar scalar field and the, uh, this uh, fermionic field, and there are topological symmetry for this for each gauge symmetry, and also some party symmetry. And okay, it, it may be a little boring calculation, but let me uh, explain the modular space of this system. Uh, so modular space is, a uh, potential is given by this, so modular space is, it can be computed by this, the vanishing of this, this operator. And first, we use gauge symmetry so that this the scalar uh, field is diagonalized in this way. Now I assume that n1 uh, less than or equal to n2, like this, and there are residual gauge symmetry as you want to the, uh, to the n1. And then uh, I I I can solve by this by uh, by this equation for Q2. And this Q, this is complex number. Uh, but there are still the U1 gauge symmetry remaining. And this this symmetry fix, fixed by some, uh, it's zero, uh, fixed its gauge field except it's zero mode. And uh, and the gauge flux quantization gives a two pi periodicity of the range of each zero mode for gauge, gauge field. And level K chance Simon interaction breaks uh, this unfixed global U1N to this some discrete uh, gauge group. Th this is the same as the ABGM uh, to obtain the modular space. And this part gives the, this uh, R star over the K to the N, to the N1. Yeah, so the final total modular space is T2 over ZK to the N, N1. So ABJ in case, this T4 over ZK, but now this system has just uh, one by fundamental, so just a C2. So uh, just uh, let me note that uh, this system cannot describe M2 brain because M2 brain has, uh, should have dimension uh, four, I mean eight in the real dimension, so anyway. 
So, and uh, let me uh, uh, explain another aspect of the cyber-like duality, uh, which is given like this. And this can be seen from the uh, some brain, brain uh, uh, exchange of the hanani witten configuration. And uh, this is a setup for us. Then uh, we first uh, decompose this 1K5 brain into 1NS5 and KD5 brain as follows. And, and I, I want to exchange this NS5 and this NS5 in the rightmost. And uh, when, do, when we do this, we uh, keep the, uh, the number of linking number, which is uh, given like this. Uh, anyway, this is some uh, 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 determined by this Hanani Witten's prescription. So we do this, then first we just move uh, one, uh, uh, we NS5 this three to this left. And now like this, I came here and the D3 br brain creation occurs so that the linking number are unchanged. And then I moved this NS15 to the rightmost like this. And I mold this again into 1K5 brain. Then I obtain this brain configuration. So this is supposed to be dual to each other. But uh, there's no issue. Yeah, please. Yeah, same direction, that's right. Uh, this is NQ2-4, NQ2-4, I think. Uh, but uh, this configuration, in this, this case, the NQ2-3. Uh, yeah, this is also gonna, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, let me explain the issue. So, so we, we, we think that this and this are dual to each other. And uh, let me consider a modular space for this. And uh, as we did, the modular space for this is that C2 over ZK to the N1. And this case, uh, C2 over ZK to the K minus N2, right? So this and this cannot be the same unless this equal to this. So the question is far wrong. Uh, classical analysis breaks down, or some different, by different mechanism, this and this matches. Or what's the, what accounts for this deviation? This is a question of this talk. Okay. So le let me be move on to the study of per a super function for this model. And uh, as I already explained by the previous speaker, uh, this, was, this can be done by using the supersymmetric localization. And uh, I do not uh, explain anymore. Just add Q is a term, which gives a free connect term for each Suji multiplet, which does not uh, change the perch function, so, and take big coupling limit. Then pass the integral, the reduced to the some Gaussian integration. So this can be evaluated by three plus one loop exact term. So this is a result. And uh, subtle points are given by some Coulomb branch, parameterized by this mu and the new. And this part is three part, and this part is one loop exact term. So just note that in ABJM case, the this denominator becomes the squared. But to this guy out with guy out with then uh, model case, the, this is just uh, just uh, one. So less convergent. And uh, so this is uh, I write it again the partition function. And in the previous classification, uh, the, there's some uh, classified by this NQ4 system by this, 
this some monopole operator or partition function. But you see that uh, this term can be damping factor, right? Because there's uh, some squares. So, uh, uh, so, so this this partition function can be always uh, convergent if we turn on the some imaginary part for the each transimon level, right? So, so in that sense, the previous uh, classification, the S3 partition function is uh, is for the some whether this is UV divergent or not, right? But the uh, UV divergent can be uh, 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 treated in some sense by some analytic continuation for the, this chance I'm coupling. So this classification is just subtle, right? So for, uh, it, it, is it still, I mean, available for the uh, case to include chance I'm on the interaction? This is a uh, simple question. So we, to, to answer this question, we, we just uh, integrate this, integ uh, this integration. And by using some technique developed in some Fermi gas approach, actually final result is actually very simple. So uh, it, uh, uh, this is a result. Anyway, and the uh, structure seems, I mean, preserved. So it is very much like pure chance Simon. And uh, it, it very looks like that each co contribution uh, looks uh, completely factorized. Uh, this calculation is very simple, but uh, uh, in the, today I, I will uh, skip the precise derivation. If you are interested, then I can explain later. So you see the, the this part function actually can be divergent when this this cosine factor can becomes zero, and uh, this theta is uh, f y term. So actually in this in this system the f y term becomes mass term also. So divergence happens when the, this theta becomes zero. Actually, this part becomes because this part is half integer. And uh, so in that sense, divergence appears in the massless case. So this means that the, the divergence is IR. And uh, from the, some very simple uh, observation, this N, when N1 plus N2 is less than or equal to K, this Z is actually convergent. It is finite when theta equal to zero. And the same, and uh, this case, uh, this is Z is marginal divergent. And uh, this case is Z is completely divergent. So in the, it, it just uh, applied to the previous classification. Then this case, the N4 chance I'm theory is good. This case is uh, ugly. And this case is bad. OK, but uh, there is another classification by monopole operator. So Natural to ask also, how about the, the other classification by monopole operator? This is another question. And uh, from the, this patch function, one can compute the uh, uh, some patch function for this case and uh, the dual, dual cyborg dual case. And actually, this and this are uh, uh, um, the the um, Coincidence up to this factor, so there is some mismatch factor, and uh, this mismatch fa factor has some k minus n1 minus n2, so it remains of the previous mismatch at uh, that of moduli space. So is is this the some signal of the existence of some decoupled sector? Uh, this was pointed out by Yakov in 2013. Okay, we did not know this fact, and uh, at that time we uh, we just noticed that uh, some this factor, but uh, we just uh, left it. But uh, my collaborator actually met uh, Yakov, and uh, he suggested to us that uh, this might be theory is bad or good, and uh, so this might actually. So 
so anyway, this may be a signal of some decoupled decouple sector. So we study this uh, by some super conformal index. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. Uh, so we, to, to study this, uh, we uh, study super conformal index. And the definition is as follows. Actually, the, uh, this Q is uh, some uh, specific supercharge, and Q dagger is some BPZ conjugation. And actually, to define this, we need to use some, some, uh, some N equal to 4, actually, uh, language. I mean, I mean uh, uh, anyway, and uh, this, uh, this, these figures, these are for the sub, sub, some Carlton sub algebra, which commute with uh, this cho uh, chosen super symmetric charge. So this is for U1 of the topological U1, and this is another topological U1. And this is uh, uh, some combination of the commuting the supercharge, this part, because this, because this is uh, half and this is minus half, so this is zero, so this commute. And this is uh, some, some for SU2R. And uh, it is known that uh, this, for this index, the uh, BPS states, or only the BPS states contribute to the, this index. So this index does not depend on this is beta prime. Okay. And uh, this also can be computed by supersymmetry localization. And the uh, result is as follows. Uh, there's some contribution of the vector multiplet here, like this, and the hyper multiplet like this. So um, the precise form is not so important. But and uh, anyway, the point is that one can compute exactly uh, by using the technique. So from this analysis, one can actually extract the information of the Monopole operator, and uh, the, we obtain that scaling dimension of unit of gauge invariant monopole operator, which is one and uh, one uh, for the this total number of monopole charge, and this scaling dimension is is given like this. So just so we apply to d greater than half or d equal to half, then d less than half, then we obtain this classification from this, like this. So, the, this case uh, suggests that the theory is good. This case suggests to agree. This case is suggests to bad. And this actually is the same as the previous classification by the uh, uh, three-square partition function. And also, we, we, uh, we compare the, some, this super confined index of the, some hanani witten pair of the non bad theories. Uh, which is uh, given by this. Actually, but the theory case, uh, uh, this theta expansion of the super confined index is actually uh, not, co not convergent. The negative the power series actually appear infinitely, so one cannot uh, expand in the uh, but theory case. So we, we compute the super confined index for non but theory, which means ugly theory. And we compute that this ugly uh, index for ugly theory and index for dual theory. Then the we, o we, find we observe that there's some uh, uh, mismatch up to this factor. And uh, this rate index actually uh, can be computed by numer numerics. And the result is given like this, up to some order of the, some x to the 15th or something. And we obtain like this. So this is completely the same as the contribution of one hypermultiplet. And so this, this suggests that this ugly monopole operator, which uh, saturate this, uh, uh, this uh, scaling dimension is half, uh, decouples, and this forms a hypermultiplet. Because this half is uh, 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 free uh, the some unitarity bound of 3D and saturating this bound suggests that the free uh, 
free multi vector there. And uh, this ugly monopole operator accounts for this, uh, uh, this mismatch. And then the, yeah, this is our, our result. Okay, so, so let me uh, conclude. Uh, so we have done some fast analysis to extend the classification of NX4 SCFT by Gaiot Witten to include the chance time interaction uh, by using some minimal NX4 chance time matter theories. And the analysis of a three sphere partition function and the super confined index suggests that uh, uh, this system is good, ugly, but if k minus n1 minus n2 greater than one minus one or uh, equal to one minus one or less than minus one, respectively. And the cyborg duality uh, was investi investigated from Hanani Mitten transition, modular space, three sphere partition function, and the super confined index. And in the region where the theory is not good, the, the cyborg duality expected, expected from the Hanami transition may need some modifications. And uh, our analysis indicates the existence of a decoupled sector, which may be identified with some ugly or bad monopole operators. Now this is uh, one story. Uh, we actually, we do not uh, precisely compute the quantum modular space. And we just assume that the classical modular space is exact, like ABGM. But, uh, we, uh, we, but we suspect this story may, may hold for, for this, some mismatch of the duality. And there are some, uh, several future uh, prospects. Uh, for example, some the generalization to the more general into four linear cleaver or some gauge group or some decoupled sector, relation between decoupled sector or some wall crossing factor. Okay, this, this, this was actually uh, uh, observed in the, some 2D case, so 3D case also may be uh, uh, the, the case. And, and the Kuron branch analysis of 3D and 4 including transcendent terms, also interesting, which was recently done by these uh, gentlemen. And uh, some three super punch function has some very suggestive form, like some fact factorized form. So maybe some uh, uh, some purely algebraic some origin or of this matter punch function. This one by some cosine factor, and uh, maybe generalization to some modular transformation matrices, or some interpretation of topological string theory of this system, like ABGM. ABGM has some interpretation of the topological string on the some local P1 cross P1 or something. So this system very simple also has some such uh, some interpretation or some some new uh, this matter part may have some top, some correspond to some some topological objects. Uh, maybe. Okay. So anyway, uh, let me stop here. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. UV. Uh, uh.